Now that you have a good idea on how to utilize built-in RESTful routes with, uh, with Rails, I thought it'd be good to learn about some of the more custom things that you can do with it as well. So in order to do that, I'm going to create a new controller, and which will also create views that we can use. So I'm going to do Rails, oops, sorry, Rails G controller, call it pages, and I want to have a contact page, an about page, and a home page. And that's how you can tell which controllers, uh, or which controller methods and pages that you want. You could do all this manually, but there's really not a reason to, uh, because this will give us some automated uh, code that fits perfectly with what we want to do. So uh, now if I do Rails S and go in the browser, then I can see exactly what this did for us. So if I want to do pages slash about, and here's our about page. And same thing for contact, and same thing for home. So this is all working. So this is, uh, this is a great way to get started is by creating a controller and we can also see what this does for us in the code. So in the code itself, this created a new pages directory inside views where we have all of this code and this is where we can edit it. So for the about page, let's say in our H1 tag, we wanna say about us and then put in an HR tag, and then fill in later. Right, okay, now if I go back to pages about, there you go. So this has all of our content. So that's how you set up basic route or basic uh, custom pages that aren't, say, a form page or an index page like the other ones. So we're, I'm going to leave that for the video. In the next one, I'm going to set up some different ways that we can get to it with some custom routes.